Hi, it's Desley here. Today we're going to talk about some foods under the letter O. And the first one today is olives. Now olives contain uh, minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, iron, sodium and potassium. Uh, they are of the monounsaturated variety, so they are of the good fats uh, and they are low in calories. Um, they also contain an enzyme called lipase, which will actually help break down your fats. Um, you should buy the best quality olive oil that you can get. It should always be cold pressed and extra virgin. And if you place it on the tongue and hold it there for a couple of seconds uh, between your tongue and your palate, it should have a sweet taste. Um, if it's rancid, it'll probably have a burning taste, and if it's of poor quality, uh, it will have a bitter taste in your mouth. Um, you should keep it in the fridge and only cook with it at low to medium temperatures. Uh, it's also very good for the skin, so you can apply it topically to keep your skin supple, um, and it's also useful for tightening the skin. Okay, and the next one is oregano oil. Now, oregano oil contains your vitamin E, uh, iron and calcium. It's antiparasitic, anti-inflammatory and has antiseptic properties. So that makes it great for things like colds and flu. And if you combine it with something like garlic, uh, it's also useful for conditions such as your bronchitis, asthma and sinusitis. Uh, it also helps alleviate psoriasis um, and it's also good for candida uh, infections uh, and other fungal type conditions and warts. Um, if you put two drops on your tongue uh, you can ease diarrhea and you can also use it as a sore throat gargle. Okay, and the last one is your onions. Now they're high in B group vitamins, uh, your fiber, your sulfur and your potassium. They also have high vitamin C content. Uh, they help thin the blood uh, and they will liquefy mucus and open up the respiratory passages. Uh, they're also useful for gallbladder and liver conditions and they will help lower blood pressure and cholesterol. If you cut open an onion, uh, it will help alleviate uh, bad odours and it also has an antibacterial effect. Okay, thanks very much. Next time we'll talk about ailments uh, under the letter P and as per usual, if you want to know any more or have further questions about your health, you can go to my webpage at desleylocknaturopath.com.au or you can go to my Facebook page. Okay, thanks very much. See you next time. Have a good week. Bye.